Bismillah. Hello, how are you? I hope that you are fine. So today I will uh, see with you how to f to make uh, a P factor map or a uh, management factor map. So first of all, you need to open uh, your watershed dam. Uh, so this is my my watershed dam, as you see now. So this is my watershed. So you need to first of all uh, make slope. So you need uh, to make slope for this. So you need just click and select slope for spatial analyst tool. So you need now to select your watershed dam and make it in percent rise and OK. Okay, I will wait something till we finish. So uh, it finished. So this is the result for my slope. For me now, I will follow this classification of uh, Mr. Chin in 1999. He classified the p factor uh, depending on the slope. Uh, intervals so uh, for me I will use slope uh, with the contouring because in my watershed there are no management just a contouring just the relief so I will just use those uh, columns this and this so I need first of all to classify my slope then so to classify your then you need just to go to R2 box click on R2 box like this I'll write something, then it will be selected. You need just to go to our toolbox. I'll write something, yes, like this. So you need to go to uh, Spatial Analyst Tool, Reclass, and Reclassify. So you need just to now slope them and classify just to see, and now define interval. So you need just to insert the interval here for from 0 to 7. So I need to uh, write here 7 like this. So as you observe that uh, this line has moved uh, to the 7 value. The other value is 11.3. Uh, so I will click here 11.3 like this. Mm. As you see now, that is moved. Also, 17.6, 17.6, 17.0. 17. I'm sorry for that. 6. Comma six. Yes. Then 26.8. Twenty-six point eight. Oh no. On eight. Yes. And I will let the last value as it is, and I click OK like this. I will just OK. Wait something till the classification will be achieved like this. So the classification uh, achieved, and as you see, there are five. Uh, classes so you need to convert this raster to uh, need to uh, convert this raster to polygon to can uh, use it so you need uh, to go to conversion to conversion tool like this from raster to polygon like this and choose reclass slope value there are no problem and okay I will wait something till well the, uh, the the operation the transformation operation will be done. So as you see that the transformation uh, operation has finished. So this is my polygon which I need to work on it. So you need now to open your attribute table like this and open 
select by attribute because as you see we need that now to observe the grid code so you need uh, to sort ascending from 1 to 5 like this and select by attribute and the grid code get the unique value I will start from 1 apply so we will observe that all the polygons here with value number one will be selected I will close here start editing yes and now I will go and merge all the polygons with the same number the same value number and now as you see that all the polygons are going to be merged uh, so the merging operation has finished now so I will move to merge the another select by attributes and a grid code and get unique value. I will select this grid code, get unique value. Number two now I will go to number two, apply like this and merge all the same. Okay, as you see that uh, the merging operation is going to be done. There are a lot of polygons with, uh, with the value uh, of 2. I'm taking uh, more time to to do the separation, no problem, I wait. So the operation number two is done, I will go to the third, three, apply like this and merge the all the poly polygons with the third values yes like this I think the operation will be finished you see that the operation so I will do the same thing with fourth value like this and go to merge all those values ok I'll wait so the fourth value has finished I will finish by the fifth value apply I'll do the same thing for the fifth value go as usual to merge and ok so as you see now that the operation has done so I will close and uh, stop editing then I'll just go here to the table to the same yes taking some time and go here taking some time because I'm uh, opening a lot of programs add a field I will name the factor like this float 
and okay now this is the new account I will just go to start editing After that, I will just copy those values here. I will. I need just to to co copy those values here for the contouring. It's in my case, but it's your in your case. You need uh, or you can choose from another. So for me now, I will just. Uh, Copy this color 055, 060, 080, 090, and 1. So here 0, 0, 55, 0, 060, 080. And I will close this table and I will just check on stop editing here. Stop editing, yes. So for me now, I need just to convert this polygon file to a raster. So you need to conversion tool from now from polygon to raster. So to raster. Polygon to raster like this, and we go to say, raster class. Uh, or you can choose another option is from feature to a raster like this. Raster to class, P factor, and I will choose a 90. That's in my in my case because I'm using a maps of 90 meter of resolution. So I need to type this. Uh, my, uh, this value that is depending on your case so if you are using uh, maps of 30 meter of resolution so you can type 30 so depending on your choice it's optional and click ok I will wait something till we we'll finish the, the transforming operation so as you see that the operation has finished and this is my resulted raster of a P factor as you see now as you see now so this is the resulted P factor so I hope that I was clear I'm sorry for the perturbation which has just passed uh, me now when I was record when I, when I was recording so I'm sorry uh, and I hope that I was clear uh, and thank you for attention and bye-bye. Uh,